Hey Jim. Mm -hmm. What would you say if I told you there was a 80s teen sex romp set in a video arcade? Balls. No balls. Truly. Hello, welcome back. We're the Bachelor Boys. I'm Jim. I'm Art. And after the appalling train wreck that was Bronx Executioner, we decided we needed something to lift our faith in the cinema's ability to entertain. So we're tackling a comedy. Mm. Now, being avid gamers, it was only right that we decided to tackle Graydon Clark's seminal 1983 teen sex romp, Joysticks. Mm. It's set in the partyingest, rockingest, most boob-filled video arcade that well, we've ever seen on screen. Indeed. Now, before we get started, this film does contain a large amount of boobs, breasts, and jubblies. And with YouTube being what it is, we must, of course, abstain from showing you any fine 80s boobage. So, plot-wise, this film is very similar to any other teen sex romps of the 80s. If you've seen Porky's, Revenge of the Nerds, Animal House, etc., you'll recognize the fun formula used here. The formula goes something like this. Cherished social institution run by a mishmash of teens or young adults is threatened with closure by a strict authority figure. Said teens must come up with a zany scheme to save their establishment and knock said authority figure down a notch. In this case, it's a video game arcade where everyone seems to be constantly getting down to some lewd behaviour. It's threatened by a gruff bureaucrat who's not down with the kids and their newfangled electronic vice. The bureaucrat is in this case played by Joe Don Baker of Mitchell fame. You're not the manager, you're just a punk kid. Plot-wise, the film is really nothing all that special, and it's quite telling of the era that it was made. But it sets itself apart by featuring some of the most absurd characters that we've ever encountered. Let's do a quick rundown, shall we? First off, there's Dorfus, or Mick Dorfus, which is his actual name. Why he decided to drop the mook, I don't know, but anyway, he's some kind of 80s Chris Farley who's apparently incredible at video games and eating gross food. His special move is a fart. Then there's King Vidiot. Yeah, King Vidiot. Ridiculous. Anyway, he's played by John Grease, who you might remember as Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite. His dialogue is some of the most ridiculous in the film. said you wanted to talk. I'm in my office. I don't like offices. Why don't you use a door? I don't like doors. Very well, Mr. Vidiot. Have a seat. I don't like seats. He's followed everywhere by this creepy posse of punk girls who did this at one point for reasons which escape us. <laughs> then there's Eugene, the stereotypical naive nerd who's constantly getting himself into risque situations which are funny at his expense. There's also Jeff Bailey, but he's pretty boring. There's also this monk. And this guy who thinks he's Curly Howard. But by far the most absurd and even infuriating character is Patsy, the valley girl daughter of the Joe Don Baker character. Now, there's nothing wrong with the way she looks. In fact, we think she's quite cute. Mm. It's the way she talks. We're sorry to do this to you guys, but this time around, our top five is going to have to be grating Patsy moments. Is are you okay? Yeah. I mean, you look a little weird. No. If I want to go to the arcade, like, I am going to go. Okay. The only place to go for good clean. Oh, God, Connie. Space for that that you are. Jeffy never promised you anything, did you, Jeff? Video arcade the store of the fucking smashing out like a gel brain hot grande. One of the most endearing features of this film is that it attempts to document a very special part of video gaming history, the golden age of arcade gaming. It was a time when the arcade was a, 
a very social location where the kids would get really excited about totally awesome video games. Mm, so excited that they went and wrote a song about it. Totally awesome video games! Here they come! Where they go! Humanoids! UFOs! All day! All night! Video to the man! There's not really much more to say about the film. It's not a bad film by any means, it actually amounts to quite a good time. A dumb, sexy, video gamey time. We'll leave you with a montage that we feel best describes the film's feel. Until next time, we're the Bachelor Boys, stay groovy. Yeah.